Hi everyone, uh, now we will learn about excretion. Uh, it is the last topic for the live process chapter. Um, excretion it is a process involved in the removal of harmful metabolic wastes from the body. Right. So what are these harmful metabolic wastes? These are nothing but the nitrogenous, nitrogenous wastes. In uh, another term it is called as nitrogenous uh, wastes. All this waste, where does this come from? This comes from the fat metabolism, protein metabolism, you know, the, all the things that we eat, all these things, you know, the, the nutrition, the food that we take, all, uh, all these things go through metabolism. We're in uh, the, the root, the place, the correct place will be in the liver. All these things, all the proteins, nitrogens, I mean uh, the proteins, carbohydrates, minerals, you know, and other fats, molecules, all all of them goes to metabolism. And after that, they has to be they the uh, you know they produce energy in it after metabolism. But after some uh, metabolism in our body, uh, there has to be some wastes. Some wastes have to be thrown out. All right. And as you all know that metabolism is of two types. I have told you in the previous session also, in the last first or second lesson. The metabolism is of two types. One is catabolism or anabolism. Anabolism is a building, building of the resources, all right? And catabolism is a breaking down of molecules, right? So these things uh, you should know uh, about what is important uh, is that like nitrogenous wastes. Which are the feces? Which are the lay out one? Which are the lay out? Which are the garbages? Garbages that we have, all the you know liters, the garbages that is in our home. We used to throw out, isn't it? So this the same thing goes in our body also. There are so many uh, wastages in our body after we take nutrition, after we take food, you know, the then metabolism, metabolism, this metabolism after that some wastages are produced. So it has to, it has to throw out, isn't it? So these are. Uh, you know, thrown out through kidney, but where, uh, how kidney get these things? You know, uh, the kidney get it from the uh, blood, isn't it? Through renal artery and all those things, you know, and the uh, renal vein, all these are the uh, blood vessels. There is, there is involved in transporting, in transporting the wastage uh, into the kidney, right? And what does kidney, kidney does? The kidneys, the kidneys remove these wastages. The kidneys, we, uh, as you all know, there are two kidneys, left and right kidneys, you know. So the kidneys help in the removal of these nitrogenous uh, wastages. Nitrogenous wastages could be uric acid, urea, you know, and bilirubin, and so many other uh, molecules, etc. So ammonia also, you know, all these things have to be excreted out, excreted out in a urine, in a urine, you know, the kidney removes all these nitrogenous wastes in the form of urine, all right, urine means in Nagamans, pisap, isn't it? So all these things has to be removed by the kidney. So for that excretion, uh, you know, all this, uh, that process is known as excretion, all right, that process is known as, and but the underlying, the main, the main role here is dead by the kidney in removal of nitrogenous wastes. So we have to know also, uh, you know, how does the kidney uh, makes compile all these nitrogenous wastes and how does it removes all these things have to we have to know. And this 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 whole process this whole process excretion and everything is is it is called as uh, excretory system excretory system you know and uh, you know uh, uh, excretory system. Excretory, excretory system of human beings includes two pair of, I mean one pair of kidneys. We have one on the left and right. So we have two kidneys, right? And after that, a pair of ureters. We have ureters which is attached with the uh, kidney, right? Two ureters with left and right. And the another one is urinary bladder, you know? Urinary bladder is based where it is in the grown area, it is in the down the abdomen, alright. So, 
this uh, bladder, bladder is a place where the urine stops. Right? Another day, urinal bladder. The, the urine stock of the urinal bladder has to be drained out, isn't it? It has to be removed, isn't it? So, urinal bladder, you know, it, uh, the last, the second last one is urinal bladder, true urine pass out, isn't it? In other words, it, it goes through our uh, reproductive organs. In a female, also, in uh, the uh, male, also, they have uh, different uh, reproductive organs, you know, uh, I mean, uh, secondary reproductive organs, they're called. So through that we, this is we in, in male, it goes up through our penis, you know, and all these things, or uh, the, these things, these structures, place in the removal of nitrogen, species, place in the removal of urine. So the main, the main structure, the main organ, which is playing a very vital role is kidney. So how does uh, a kidney makes the urine? and how it compiled up, it drain out, and it removes, and it pass out the urine. All these things we have to know, you know. And so, uh, I will show you the diagram of circulatory, uh, I mean, uh, excretory system. As I've, as I've told you earlier, we are in the topic of excretion. Excretion, the meaning is, The main option is the biological process that involve in the removal <coughs> of Harmful metabolic wastes. From this metabolic, you come to know that this is the wastes, you know, that is produced, you know, that is left after the metabolism, after fat, protein, and all these things, carbohydrate metabolism na, in the liver, all these things, wastes are left out. So it has to be removed. Waste this, isn't it? From the body. This is a standard standard definition of excretion. The biological process involved in the removal of harmful metabolic metabolic uh, waste from the body. Right. So uh, I'll tell you uh, one of the very important thing which plays an important role in excretion. You know? I have mentioned this before also that excretory system involves, I mean, includes, you can say involves and includes, same thing, pair of kidneys. Here of ureters, right? Urinary bladder, the ureter. Excretory system includes pair of uh, kidneys, pair of ureters, urinary bladder, and ureter. You know, this is very, very important. Very, very, this is yes, uh, the the four structures, you know, that are involved in the excretory system, you know. When you go to higher classes, you know, this will be a very important one. So, this is the place, actually, this, I um, mean, this is the structures where the, where the excretory systems, you know, excretion takes place, right. And here you can see, you can clearly see here, the two kidneys, you know, here, is, here is one kidney and the another one is another uh, left kidney, right? And it, this is attached, this is supplied to the kidney, the, this kidney, the left kidney is supplied by the left renal vein and uh, left renal artery, you know? 
and the right one is right kidney uh, supplied by the right this is the right right uh, uh, renal vein and all renal artery and renal vein right so all these things is very important in the uh, excretory system you know uh, this are, these are the structures urine whether the urine kidney will make the urine and it will go down to ureter and ureter from the urine bladder the urine will store here and it will go out through a ureter ureter and from there it will go through the reproductive uh, secondary reproductive organ so i hope you are clear with this this uh, this is the pathway you know of a urine removal all right from uh, the kidney will be the kidney will make the urine and from there it will be taken by the ureters there are two ureters from there it will, the urine will go to urinary bed from there we will go the last one is ureter but kidneys the two kidneys will uh, filter out uh, the urine and the nitrogen sources and other it will go to ureter so ureter will go to urinary better from there the urine will pass out to ure ureter one this point you should know the kidneys remove remove from the blood the nitrogen is waste this such as urea salts water in the form of urine i hope you are clear with this uh, sentence you know the kidneys the two kidneys remove nitrogenous wastes from the blood right the, the kidneys removes nitrogenous wastes such as urea salts water in the form of urine from the blood right this is very simple one this is a concept that you should know i have stated earlier many times the purpose of making urine is to filter out waste products from the blood okay i hope you are clear with this sentence just as carbon dioxide is removed from the blood in the lungs but nitro genus waste such as urea and uric acid are removed from the blood in the kidneys but this point is very simple what does it say what does it mean just as carbon dioxide is removed from the blood in the in the lungs as we can recollect as we can recall back carbon dioxide which is in the blood capillaries is diffused to the alveoli isn't it and from the alveoli uh, it is lifted up all right and it goes through exhalation and there is part of respiration isn't it so just as carbon dioxide is removed from the blood in the lungs at nitrogen which is such as urea uric acid are removed from the blood in the kidneys just like that just a carbon dioxide is removed from the lungs 
The nitrogen which is mainly urea, uric acid, are removed from the blood in the kidneys. And in the kidneys, in the form of urine, right? So, how now the question is how urine is produced? No. Urine, urine, urine is consists, urine is composed of water, uric acid, urea, and other nitrogenous wastes like ammonia and all. all right. So, how this urine is mainly produced? How urine is produced in the urine? This is very important. You should know this uh, answer. How urine is produced in the kidney, you know? How all those nitrogenous wastes are produced in the kidney, right? So, we will learn. Uh, here you know there is a uh, the basic the basic the the basic filtration unit is cluster of thin wall blood capillaries so blood capillaries is important everywhere you have, as you have seen in the, the blood capillaries, which uh, plays an important role in diffusion of carbon dioxide and water. I mean, carbon dioxide and oxygen in respiration, you know, from the alveoli to the blood capillaries. So, this blood capillaries is very important everywhere. So, uh, each capillary, you know, each capillary cluster in the kidney. is associated with cup shape and of coil tube called Bowman's Capsule. I will, I will, uh, the Bowman's capsule, you know, I will tell you regarding this Bowman's capsule after I draw the nephron. Nephron. This is a nephron, you know, uh, nephron. All these structures are in the, all these structures are uh, Bowman's capsule, glomerulus, all these structures lies in the nephron. Each kidney has large numbers of filtration units called nephrons packed together right so nephron this nephron, this nephron, this is the functional unit of kidney. Right. It is very, very important in the making of urine and in the removal of nitrogen sources. So nephron, uh, nephron is the microscopic structural and functional unit of kidney right so it is nephron is a microscopic structural and functional unit of kidney all the nitrogenous wastage kidney here is a kidney inside there is a small small cells microscopic cells called nephron It is this is the place where the blood blood you know the blood which is it is the renal artery renal vein all these things you know they supply this nitrogen space to the <coughs> kidney so this nephron what does he do nephron does uh, collection of all the collects all the nitrogen spaces and it gets stored and after that it is taken away by what Ureter. Very very simple. This concept is very very simple. 
So if your renal artery brings artery means blood. Artery, you know, artery, veins, uh, blood capillaries, all of the, them carries blood. That's why they are called as blood vessels, isn't it? So the renal artery, the renal artery, uh, I mean, uh, the renal uh, vein and the artery, they brings blood to the kidney. So this nephron, which is microscopic in nature, they collect all the nitrogen species. Nit nitrogen species, we cannot see with our eyes, isn't it? How does you can see uric acid, how you can see uh, urea and ammonia. So all these things are collected by the nephron, which is a microscopic structure. And after that, it is drained out through the ureter. So some septans, some substances along with uric acid, uh, uric acid and uh, urea and water are uh, glucose, you know, Amino acids. All these vestiges are also accompanied with urea and water and uric acid. They are selectively reabsorb is the urine flows along the tube ureter along the tube means ureter right so the pressure the pressure of the expanded bladder so Urinal brethren, you know, there is now already stored with so many urine. It comes from the urine, uh, ureter, isn't it? It is stored with so many urine. So it will be expanded. So it will be, you know, in, inflated and expanded. So uh, because of it, there will be a pressure. And the pre because of this pressure uh, exerted, it leads to, leads to the arch to pass it out through the ureter. Right, then remember this, the urinary bladder, urinary bladder is under the control of nervous system. Right. And it is a muscular, urine bladder is a muscular structure, it is a muscular structure. So, as a result, we usually control the arch urine. We usually control the arch of Pisap Kurana in Nagamisu Visite. So, when you want to pee, when you want to urine, when you want to pee, it, you know, all these things, the arch, the arch, arch means the willingness to do, you know. All this uh, willingness to, uh, uh, to urinate, to pee, all this is controlled by our nervous system, our brain, you know, it's controlled by our brain. So if you are able to think, if you are able to think, hey, I will not urinate now, I will not pee now, even though I have an urge, I have an urge, I have a willingness to urinate, I have a urge to pee, you can stop it because it is under your control. It is under nervous, uh, nervous system control. You can control your brain, that means you... I uh, can stop the arch to uh, pee, urinate, right? And uh, lastly, I will show you the diagram. I will show you the diagram of a nephron, nephron. And how the urine and how the nitrogenous wastes are absorbed, right? All these things we'll see in now in the last, last diagram, nephron. So here, here is, it is the structure figure. structure of nephron. All right, as I have said uh, before, it is a, a functional unit, functional and structural unit of kidney. This uh, nephron, it plays a main, main role, it plays a primary role in the filtration, in the reabsorption of so many molecules like urea, uric acid, ammonia, 
water and potassium, calcium, uh, uh, sodium, all these things are observed by nephron. This function, this is a microscopic structure, right? And this, it helps, it helps in the formation of urine, right? So this nephron is a very, very important. This diagrammatic presentation is very, very important. You will get this in higher class, in class 11, 12. If you go for studying medicine, MBBS, everything, you will get this. This is a very, very important structure. I will uh, show you some landmarks. This is a, this is, this, this is a branch of renal artery. This branch of renal artery. And this is Bowman's capsule, this cup shape. Cap shape structure, na? This is a cap shape structure is a Bowman's capsule. And you see this, uh, this is another branch of renal vein, renal vein. And this is capillaries. Here is, these things, you know, you will study in higher class. This, here it is, uh, it's called a loop of Henle, ascending loop and descending loop. So many things are there. You will study in higher class. This is the capillaries. Where the main reabsorption of sodium, potassium, uh, urea, uric acid, all these things take place here in the capillaries. And this is a collecting duct, right? And this is the tubular, tubular part of nephron. And this is a coil type, coil type. This is a coil type, you know, circular coil type. It's a glomerulus. So this uh, diagram is very, very important in exam point of view. And when you get uh, uh, you know, uh, if you have, if you get a uh, question about this excretion, if you read this diagram, you'll get a good, nice marks. And this is very, very important in uh, in the exam point of view also. In the higher class also, you'll get this nephron everywhere. Nephron is very, very important in the formation of urine. I hope you are clear. We uh, now we will lastly study excretion. And plugs. This topic is not so important, but if in exam it comes, you will, you will have to write it in it. So just for knowledge, you know, plants use completely different strategies. Okay, uh, the system that is involved in animals is not there in plants. Plants is a different method of excretion. Okay, so uh, see in photosynthesis, as you all know, this is a formula of photosynthesis. All right, so this this oxygen, you know what, this is released in the atmosphere, isn't it? So this can be put as a waste product, waste product, nitrogen, like a nitrogenous waste product, kidney, kidney like uh, urea and uric acid, oh, this can be put as a, oxygen can be thought as a waste product. All right, so oxygen itself, oxygen, oxygen itself can be, Thought of a waste product generated during photosynthesis. Okay. And as you all know, how plants deal with uh, oxygen and carbon dioxide, you know, this is a natural phenomena, this is another ph ph uh, phenomena you know, taking place in plants with this uh, photosynthesis. So, you know, plants, you know, plants get rid of <coughs> excess water. By transpiration. You know the transpiration, it is a removal, it is a removal of water from uh, aerial parts of leaf, isn't it? <coughs> so this, this is something, this is very simple expression in plants and it's not, not so important, but if you have one to learn, you can learn this. So this comes into the culmination of the whole um, topics in the uh, live process and I hope you are clear, you guys are clear. If you guys have any problem, then kindly let me know.